back. March oh, yeah. so far has been tough. And you'd think we'd be ready for a break at this point. Unfortunately, not the case. Already, as you're waking up on this Monday morning to some snow, by the way, we're watching the next storm, which is coming at us on Wednesday. Wednesday into Thursday, we have a brand new winter storm watch up. And you can see where this is most of the region, except for southeastern Massachusetts, where I think there's going to be some rain mixing on in. But where you see this blue, the potential for at least six inches of snow, maybe more in spots. Really, the track is going to determine how much snow we get. But plan on enough snow to plow and shovel and all that here as we head toward the middle of the week. The wind's not going to be as strong as the last storm, but I just kind of want to give you a gauge here of how the winds ramp up during the day on Wednesday and along the coastline. Once again, we're talking about wind gusts 30, 40, maybe even 50 miles per hour. And you couple that with the snow and even over the interior, you can see some stronger gusts too. This is going to be a wind driven snow that comes at us here toward the middle of the week. The tides though, fortunately lower astronomically, so I don't think we're going to be dealing with the flooding along the coastline that we had, of course, so much of during this last storm and we're still dealing with it. We actually still do have a coastal flood advisory for the next high tide, which comes up right around 1 p.m. So 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. could be some minor flooding or splash over with just a one to two foot surge at this point, but still dealing with that high water along the coastline. In the meantime, you're heading out this morning and yes, it is snowing. That snow starting to wind down now on the North Shore, the New Hampshire seacoast, but you can see a band of snow from Boston to Worcester and especially here on the South Shore in the Upper Cape. But look at the temperatures running out or just above the freezing mark in most areas. So a lot of what is out there, it's hitting the pavement and melting. So the roads are more wet than white at this point, and you can see what happens through 8 o'clock this morning. The snow begins to taper off, so it's out of here in the next couple of hours. And the skies actually brighten up a little bit. We'll see at least some breaks of sunshine developing through the afternoon. So nothing more than a coating to an inch, maybe two in a few spots. Southeastern Massachusetts seem to be seeing the best potential for that. And this is also where we have the strongest winds this morning, getting gusts over 30 miles per hour on the Cape right now and the potential still today for those northerly winds to gust to 50 miles per hour. Wind advisory is up until six o'clock this evening. Temperatures though with a little bit of sunshine developing this afternoon do sneak up to or just over 40 degrees. That wind though is going to make it feel a little bit colder. The winds do die down tonight though as high pressure starts to build on in and then here's the next storm we are watching for midweek. So as we go through the night we'll see the temperatures fall under a clear to partly cloudy sky into the mid 20s and lower 30s and tomorrow is the pick of the week. We'll get some sunshine, lighter winds overall, not too far from 40 degrees, but we'll watch that storm approach, redevelop to our south, and then pass by us in a spot that will likely give us some snow. The question is, how much mixing do we get in southeastern Massachusetts? So we will have to determine that, but certainly impact weather days here. You can see that snow gets started toward the tail end of Wednesday morning's commute, but we are in it for that evening commute on Wednesday with some heavier snow, perhaps some rain near the coast, and you can see still some snow on Thursday morning before it gets on out of here. So the potential for several inches here Wednesday and early Thursday and then mm -hmm. it looks like we get a break by the end of the week and the weekend. You promise? 